Welcome friends. Today we are going to deploy RDS instance which is relational database system for our EC2 instance where we can host our application or websites. We will go to the service and from database we will select RDS. Then we will go to instance. Here we have nothing deployed, so it's empty. We will click on launch DB instance. Here from the, is this skin, we will select the database engine. In our case, we will select MariaDB and we will select MariaDB. There is two variation of MariaDB is available. One is production, one is dev test. Production is multi-zone deployed and its throughput is higher, which is which we will be used for our production. For now, we will choose dev and select next step. Here we have already selected that DB engine, which is MariaDB. License mode will be general purpose. This is only one license is available for MariaDB. And MariaDB version, we can change the whatever we want to select. We'll select 10.0.24 for this, this instance. And the class, which will be the compute instance for that database, we'll select T2 micro. We'll not select anything for multi AZ deploy we will take 5 GB of disk space for the our MariaDB instance and we will name it as test DB and uh, the administrator name will be test DB admin I will be copy paste this admin name and already I have created a complex password set for that DN RDS instance and we will paste that password this password is at the rate will not accept so we we'll remove at the rate from here and take in the password and paste it again paste the password and click next this will start the process of launching the group we'll select our default vpc and it will be on default subnet availability zone will have no preference so we will leave it blank from database name we will give it test database or test db our database can be accessed via port 3306 And everything else will kept on default and we will click on launch instance our instance is launched and here the status is creating we will be back when it's already create the instance hi friends our RDS instance is ready and here is all the statistics and we also have that our endpoint name which is our entire RDS instance name we will copy it to that notepad for further use it's time to connect the 
RDS instance from our EC2. I have already SSH to that our EC2 instance which I earlier created. If you are missed that video, please go back and watch how I create that EC2 instance. Now it's time to connect the RDS from that EC2 instance to check whether its connectivity is working or not. And we'll write down MySQL hyphen H which is stands for host name. We'll paste the host name hyphen U and paste the administrator username which we will create in the section when we creating the RDS instance and we will provide P as blank then we prompted for that password we will copy and paste the password and hit enter it's not connecting and we are going to invest why it's not connecting I will stop let's see this is group is default group and in our EC2 instance our EC2 instance running is on separate security group so we have to allow our EC2 instance to access that RDS so select that default group which our RDS instance is belonging to we will going to inbound and click edit we will click on add rules we will add MySQL and Aurora which will allow the port 3306 which is our RDS instance access port and we will going to whitelist that IP which is internal IP which is 172.31.27.199 we will type it 172.31 dot let's check again 31.27.199 slash 32 and we'll add the description for this IP this description section is new it's added in last last week earlier the description section is not there EC2 is for our EC2 instance. We'll save it. Now it's time to test that we are able to connect our RDS instance or not. Yes, we have successfully connected our RDS instance go ahead and create your own and come back afterwards when we will deploy our application to that EC2 instance and connect that RDS instance for our application database thank you please subscribe the channel so you can get that notification update when I will update the video for next session thank you